All right, really quickly, here is uh, the pentatonic pattern played with three notes on every string. Uh, you may recall that everywhere that it is one and four, we're going to use fingers in the left hand one, three, and four. And everywhere that we would ordinarily play fingers one and three, we're going to play one, two, three, giving us a triplet counted one and a two and a evenly, evenly, triple it, triple it. Any of those will work. What we want to do is to just go through it. There's all the notes. Another thing we looked at was in that pentatonic minor way of thinking about these four notes in the middle on strings four and three as a box, if you will. And the third finger note on the fourth string is the one or the root. Say we're in the key of A. There's an A chord, right? Right next to it in the same fret on the third string is the four, the root of the four chord. And that would be a little D chord there. And then if we bend that note a whole step, we get the sound of E. There's an E chord for you there. So what we were looking at was breaking out of that box, if you will, and going on to the first two strings as well, and discovering that when we do, do bend that the note, that is in fact the same note as the next fingered note in the pattern, the finger one note on the second string. You can see that I'm using two fingers here on the third string, one in each fret, behind the, one behind the other, in a supportive way. While I'm holding finger one on the second string note, we play both of them together, and then bend. You can pre-bend it, and then release it. And the other move we had was... First two strings, finger one, holding them both together. And then if we make yet another triplet sound by barring those two and then putting the two fingers on the third string with a pick in hand, we would pick up on the third string and then down, down on strings two and one, bending the first note. And then allowing a little bit of a dip to happen. We get that sort of singing quality uh, in a triplet figure. Which of course can be lowered down. Okay, other thing that you should do with this pattern is set your metronome at a comfortable speed where you can easily play alternating picking eighth notes on a starting note. Let's say we'll do it in the fifth position here where I've been playing all along. And you set a speed of eighth notes that we'll call a pedal tone. You can do this for one octave or all the way through both octaves if you want. But the idea is to develop coordination between the two hands, left and right, as well as your foot. So when your foot is counting and the pick is moving, they should be going in the same direction. That is to say, on a downbeat with the foot, we're picking down when the foot is coming up. If there is a sound happening at that point in time, we pick up. And I say that if there is a sound happening at that point in time because we don't want to always think one and two and three and four and if there isn't something happening at those points in time. We only think about eighth notes when they're actually happening. <clears throat> Since we're playing all eighth notes though, it's going to be one and two and three and four and. Just as I said a moment ago, I'll go for one octave here. I'm going to 
descent. And upon arriving at the starting note, I stay right where I was going at the same speed. And now what I'm going to do is shift from eight attacks to four. Still at the same speed, we'll shift to two. And then one. Now that was played pretty fast. Admittedly, you'll probably want to go a bit slower than that when you begin, but that's ultimately what you can get to at that point by gradually increasing your metronome speed, but not to the point where you're going to be making any sort of errors, right? You want to keep it at a place where everything is manageable for you. You can think about everything you have to think about, and you can make it happen on the instrument. So that little double note sound is an interval. And we can double the notes of the pattern. There's playing one note at a time, and now I'm going to play two notes at a time. Mess around with that and see what you get.